What makes you special? Intelligence. Hey everyone, I'm Spirkus. Welcome back to Fallout 4. It is raining here in the Commonwealth in episode number 45. Ooh, the blimp. I haven't done that at all since that thing came. What? How many episodes is it? Like, was it episode 30? <sighs> Alright, what, what, what's on your mind? Sure, what's on your mind? Just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. Oh, well, the honor is oh, mine. Cut the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Uh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. You're a little crybaby, aren't you? Well, you found the entrance of the vault intact, but how did you know that we made it? <sighs> well, well, we couldn't take you because you're just a robot and nobody cares about you. vault -Tec wouldn't let us take you. Not a single worry, sir, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. <laughs> at first it was the work, busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually the work became... Light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, sir. Memories of you and the missus. Young Shaw. Of your love and kindness. Wait, wait, wait. What? I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the wife, that Shaw... Oh, well, that's a bit strange. Children um... Emerge. You know, if you remember, back in the day when there was, like, um, pre-war times, in the washing room of the family, right, at the home and sanctuary, there was that carton in which um, the Mr. Handy or Cotsworth was delivered. So, Cat got your tongue, sir? my guess is they bought Cotsworth after they got Sean, all right? And Sean was just the baby, so Cotsworth was just living with those guys for a couple of months, and then... He was drooling out over these memories for a, which he had for a couple of months Take for 200 years. It's a little bit strange if you ask me, even for a robot, because a robot shouldn't care about this at all anyways. Uh, well, I'm sorry it took so long, dude. Sorry it took so long. I only wish we could have all gotten out as a family. As do I, sir. As do I. Yes, as do I. It is unfortunate. I just wanted you, you to think? know how much I consider you family. Aww. You may be a mere robot to some, but... Yeah, you're also I just a mere robot to me. To see me as more. Mm. Um, you're getting soft. Yeah. Getting sounding like a pussy around to you're me. You're getting soft on me, Codsworth. I need you to stay focused. I know, sir. I know. But I really felt I must tell you how I feel. I may be made of metal, but... These emotions, uh, sometimes I wish being a robot could be that simple. I simply don't know how mankind copes. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Sir, I'm not sure this ship is exactly seaworthy. No, it is not. So the ship, finally I can start like four minutes after I start the video with my actual video. We're at the FMS Northern Star where we found the agility bubblehead right here. Which is really, really, really like a coincidence that I found it. I mean, I was just like, huh, what is that? And then I came up here and said, ah, what is that? And yeah, weird. Well, as I was looking through the episode, through the last episode, I noticed, well, these pirates around here are obviously not French. <laughs> as I thought in the last episode, because, well, I was... Focusing on the fights and not listening to those guys. Um, yeah, I think they are Norwegian or something Which is kind of weird. What do Norwegians do here? I mean, it's the FMS Northern Star, so it makes sense, I guess, but 
What, did they ship over here with the Northern Star and then got shipwrecked and... I don't know. Huh. Anyways, also in between episodes, I found out that I cannot use this power armor anymore. Simply because, well, when I was scavenging the place, I wanted to sell all the stuff at the Adam Cats and um, yeah, the Adam Cats attacked me and I didn't know why. Oh, damn it. This is why they say uh, always like mind the gap in the <laughs> subway. Um, mind the gap. Yeah, well, the Adam Cats were attacking me and I didn't know why. And uh, so I started to experiment and then I found out if I enter the power armor or start taking the parts out of it, they start attacking me. I don't know how they see me stealing that thing from that distance, but they didn't see me stealing the power armor when I was when it was still back there. Which is kind of weird, but uh, yeah. Let's just let it be. Let's just let it be as it is. Hello there, Cedric Hopton. You're a friendly little man. Um, oh yeah, another thing that I did during between episodes was I, well, I cheated. Well, as I want to call it, I modded the game. <laughs> I took away my level three fortune finder perk here, all three perks, and added it to the strong back perk. The reasons being is, well, it's my first playthrough, so I have to learn about the, the game around here. And um, my initial thought that this would be actually really helpful. Um, well, it is helpful. You do gain a lot of caps with this perk. It is actually really helpful. But we have now like three settlements, no, four settlements in this playthrough. And um, I already make so much caps with that and with the stuff they produce. I don't have any worries about caps at all. So this perk is for me kind of useless if you have those other perks like um, well, the lo local leader and um, the big sale perk. This makes you have so much, so many caps, you don't know, know what to do with it anymore. So the same was is the awareness perk. That was really um, well, a bad decision that I took it, but, um, well, let's just leave it that way. So the, the other perks, I'm, I'm quite, um, satisfied with them. It's good. It's okay. So, yeah. If you think that, that this action, what I just, just did with those perks all over there, um, if that just makes me a cheater, just a little filthy, dirty cheater that doesn't deserve to play video games. Um, okay, good. If it doesn't deserve to play video games, um, yeah, then tell me about it in the comments down below. I would like to hear it. Or do you see it just as I do, as modding the game? You know, I modded the game because, well, Bethesda is unable to put in some possibility to rearrange your perks, you know, just, I don't know, you buy, you buy it or something, you go to some guy who can rearrange your perks, unless they sell it to you in a DLC. Yeah, well, hello there. Is this a settlement? It is a settlement. <laughs> okay. Well, I was, I saw the icon down there. I was thinking, is it a possible settlement? And as we can see, yes, it is a possible settlement. You can already see the turret standing up there, guarding the main entrance here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, I can see how or what to do around here. That would be, oh yeah. Ideas are flowing. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is some good shit around here. I would like to have that settlement here. 
Yeah, and if I would place like five water collectors over here, I would make even more caps around here. Because you make so much money with, or you can make so much money with purified water from your settlements. That is just ridiculous. So, are you that uh, June girl guy thing? Oh. I saw you working in the pump shed over there. Are you with the Atom Cats? Um. Meow, bitch. Meow. Oh. You forgot the bitch, um, bitch. I'll take that as a yes. So is that pump all fixed up now? So what? You don't speak cat? Um. Yeah. I was sarcastic enough. Yep. Should be all fixed. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Yay! Maybe someday this will do the farm some good. The Adam Cats have been such a great help to us. You must be hungry. Here, take some food back with you. And please, send Zeke my thanks. I will send Zeke my thanks. Bye. You know what would make he help you farm while, if you would join me? Got plenty to trade. Interested? Um, no, not really. Sounds like you've been through some tough times. Yeah. Some super mutants came through and tore the place up. We damn near starved to death. Anyway, things are better now. Just look at the place. We've got everything we need. I'll say Great. this. If you want to start up a farm out here, you better be ready to fight for it. Yeah, um... Um... Maybe you should hire some guards, you know? I know some people. They would like to come over here and help you guys. Why not hire some guards? Even if we could feed, bunk, and pay them, we'd still have to find people we could trust. When it comes to Hello. protecting our family, Robert and I need to be sure. How about you? Got any family yourself? Yes, I do, but I want to... <sighs> always so nosy. Do you always ask such personal questions? Nosy, I'm not sorry, nosy. I don't mean to pry. Roger used to say I was too friendly for my own good. Yeah, you should well, be. You should be. It's pretty damned insensitive. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Let me make it up to you, okay? Here, take this. I think I've embarrassed myself enough for one conversation. I did enjoy talking with you, though, and I hope you'll visit again. Take care. <sighs> well, I visit again. At some point, when I can take the settlement over. Excuse me. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. God damn it! Stand up. Nice hat. Don't think I've seen you around here before. You new to these parts? Um. Well. No. No. <laughs> I grew up around here, but it feels like a lifetime really? ago. Really? In that case, welcome back. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why set up a farm at a place like this? It might not look like much, and there's that smell. But that's the thing. See, this used to be a sewage plant. The most fertile soil in the Commonwealth is right under our feet. So they live down with the tree plant, huh? Downwind of the sewage treatment plant. Um, yeah, this place stinks, dude. But I don't think it's because of uh, the fact that it's a sewage plant. It's because of you guys and the fact that I just fought it. I don't care how fertile the soil is. This place reeks. My senses are picking up quite the odor. Yeah, but you get... Oh, come on. Besides. Keeps Fuck you, Codsworth. And the raiders away. I have to admit, <sighs> you're lucky to even be having this conversation. We fell on some hard times not long ago. Uh -huh. Used to be the yeah, yeah. men would have helped us, mm -hmm. so we were on our own. Uh -huh. No man should have to watch his wife and children suffer. You just annoy me, um, dude. The men and men are back. Are back. We can come in here and protect you guys. Those days How about over. that? The Minutemen are back, and we won't let you down again. No offense. But I'll believe it when I see it. Anyway, feel free to have a look around, yeah? <sighs> we got some stuff for trade, if you're interested. My wife June handles that. The kids are Janie and Wally. They're always curious about visitors, but they should stay out of your way. It's been real good talk. Yeah. It's been shit talking to you. Um, is that Wally? Hey, Wally. Really nice lately. I didn't used to. Janie and Bill. Pitch so in. Pick some potatoes and bring them here. My parents two used caps to each. Two caps each. But not anymore. I'm glad. Um, not now. I'll hang on to what I've got for now. Then we're done. Wait, I do have some potatoes, so what? Oh, maybe I do. So, um, fine. Let's. Since I don't have the cap collector perk anymore, I need more money. <laughs> What's the other. Where's the girl? Where did she go? 
Like yeah, I said, you're the wrong one. It's two caps for each okay. potato you bring me. Yeah, here, here, take yeah. potatoes. Here, here's your cats. Great, 44, awesome. Um, Janie, Miss Janie, could you stand up, please? Thank you. Hello. If you need something, you should talk to my dad. I want to talk to you. <clears throat> Do you mind if I ask you something? I need an honest opinion, and I figure you've got no reason to lie to me. Well, I got no reason to tell you the truth. The truth. Blah. Either. So. It's not a good time, but uh, I guess you can ask uh, me. Sure, I guess. Thanks. My question is. Oh, well, we see a lot. Change? <laughs> I mean, really change. Like, deep down. Um, in some circumstances. Not usually, no. But in the most extreme circumstances, people are sometimes forced to change. I think you must be right. My dad's a good example. He used to drink all day and he never did any work. And then one day everything changed. He stopped drinking completely and started to work really hard. Sometimes long past sunset. He suddenly seemed to care a lot more about what happened to the farm and to us. Honestly, it was nice. Hmm. Well, I guess he just sobered up. Well, it sounds to me like he just sobered up. Good for him. I only wish he hadn't waited so long. Better late than never, I guess. I guess so, I too. I just wanted to know it was normal what happened to him. Thanks for helping me sort things out. I didn't do anything. Hey there. My parents used to nah. a lot, but not anymore. Fine. I'm glad they stopped. Fine. So we cannot... Make it into a settlement yet. Ooh. Yeah, definitely gonna build a bridge over there. And we ended up up there. Yeah, just gonna make a like a gigantic bridge and structure over here. Ooh, yes. I have some nice ideas for this place. I would like to have this as a settlement. That would be great. Ah well. What's a little bit disappointing of the mm, strong back perk, strong back perk is that with this you actually just have plus fifty carry weight, so you waste more or less waste two perks for fifty carry weight. That's fifty is not that much. That's two heavy guns, you know, and well, that's even less than two heavy guns. But these two, they are actually very useful. Mm, well, not for the fact of the, well, let's play here because um, I will, I never get overcumbered while I'm, I'm recording or I try not to. Well, but it's gonna be very useless, like scavenging all the places once I'm done with it, you know? You just um, bring everything from that location to back back to your settlements in one go. So that is really really helpful. That should think speed things up for me a lot. Oh, Suddenly a rare find these days. Yeah, we are quite safe here. I mean, these guys are all have power armor, so yeah. Wait. Hello there. <laughs> yes. Okay, I. Great. When words fail, there's always fist. Good. Yeah, that, that's that's a, a nice motto. That's a nice motto. Um, permanently gain plus twenty five critical damage with unarmed attack. Only, only critical. Why not? Well, that's too bad. That should be plus twenty five. Period. You know, not just critical. Ah oh, well. Well, like I, I did get the tip to look at all the hoods in the garages, so um, yeah did that done that what's that? ooh, yeah, later rowdy, rowdy All done. howdy, rowdy um did you know that the Warwick station there smells like a bitch? almost as much as you yeah, and did you know about the terrible smell over there? Jeez. Why you think I've been putting off going back over there? <laughs> Seriously, who builds a farm at a sewage treatment plant? <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. Wait. Why do you wear a... Why, why is she wearing a power armor? 
Sarcastic. That place? You know you live in a junkyard, right? But it's a junkyard with <laughs> style. Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So we had this. You're not really trustworthy, are you, bitch? Pump. Should we rustle his jimmies with something else? Uh huh. Gunners? Yeah, let's stomp. Wait, that's. That's an assault run. Good. Uh, don't come with. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. What the? What the hell was that? Oh my god. Assault runs are not nice people. Okay, let's go for you. Oh yeah, bitch. Critical strike in your face. Come on. Yes. Good. How many are there? Holy crap. That's not good. Um, let's go. F let's flank them. There we have one. Good. There's some other guys. Where are they? Got a private over there. Where are you? I can't really see you. I can't see shit. Holy crap. Wait a second. No. It's always the wrong gun. Stop doing that. Um, what? Oh, private. Hello, private. Where are you? Good. What do we got here? It's the legendary gunner. He's the only one left. So let's just see what we can do. Huh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Good, 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 good. Where are you? I can see you. Okay. Wait, do I have jet? Yes, I do. On what? Oh, on minus. Um. I like no. What do I want? Squirrel on a stick. Why not? Good. There he is. It was actually a bad idea that it was. What? Why did Cutsworth dislike that? What did he. Oh! Ah, I guess Cutsworth doesn't like it if you take drugs. Okay. That is good to know. That is good to know. Freezing. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, fine. Why not? Okay, well, that's good to know. Cotsworth doesn't like it if we use. What the hell? Come on. Where is he? I can't see you. Good. We have to at least get some. Where is he? God damn it. This is not going great. <laughs> what? How many are there? Holy crap, that that doesn't end, does it now? Okay, this one's gone. Man. That's a big ass fight here. Those gunners don't like you guys much. And a critical strike in your face. Commander is still alive. Rowdy, don't be stupid. You're gonna die. That's common 
Good. Rowdy is still alive. Barely made it, you dumb, dumb woman. But yeah, we do have some extra space in our inventory so we can clear out everything. Mr. Zeke guy. Gunners. Ooh, look at that. Wet rags Holy crap. Get their mitts on our suits. Did you, Jack? Ho <laughs> ho You slayed! Thank you. Because of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. Really? Good. Um, look at that. I think she had a full power hour when she was entering that. No, 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 she didn't. All right, she she got into that one power armor that was just the frame. But those guys also lost like a couple of those parts. Yeah, they were completely damaged. You guys are weak, but um, oh, does that mean we don't have any more stupid tests of yours? Of yours? Even though I do like tests because that they normally give us experience points. So, no more tests. <laughs> no tests. I can see your choice material and a friend of the atom. Yes. You. Have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, I can get you hooked up with a little discount around here. Yeah? Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Katz jacket. Great. Well, well, Jack. And we leveled up. Which is even greater. Because now I can pick the strong back level 4. And we're done with this perk. Next thing I'm going to focus on is um, the heavy gunner for better use of heavy guns, of course. But I want to just want to make me stronger in general. So I want to focus on the heavy gunner perk as soon as possible when it's available. Also, the well, science perk and um, the gun nut perk and the armor perk. And also, like these perks over here at some point. Well, I'm not sure how. Because, well, there are also other perks that would really, really be nice to have. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. We still have a lot of levels to level up. So, that's alright. But I do like how I look, especially with the hat. With the beret. Okay, where's that, um... Commander guy? Well, we've got some people over here. Um, let me just have a look around here and see what I can find. Oh well. Alright. So, I scavenged the place. The gunners, more or less. Who did have some nice equipment, especially armor. And also, what is it, like a hair trigger thingy? Yeah, maximum capacity. So, this thing might be actually... Quite nice as an automatic weapon to have, you know. Let's see what if I can mod something out of it. Anyways, I will go back to the castle, leave some of my stuff behind, and um, mod the assault rifle because I wanted to have one long time ago. And then we're gonna go to Hardware Town, so we can end up at the Coast Guard Pier. So let's do that. Hello there. What's the gunner doing here? Uh, come on. Well, this this uh, club is supposed to be used as a VATS weapon, since it uses 40% less <laughs> AP. So, yeah. I really like it how it gets so bloody. Yes. That's nice. Anyways, we are at the hardware town now and we want to go and find some more of the Eddie Winter tapes finally do some more stuff about it um, I don't want to go over there this place because I think we have to fight over there this kind of looks like a place where dangerous things are going to happen all right do we have here? Let's um let's do it. Hello, Mr. Dog Man. Just killed a poor wounded dog. <laughs> poor fella. 
Poor, poor fella. All right. Let's just... What the hell is this? Well, that was easy. Wasn't it? Ah. Well, I do have quite a little something of radiation, so let's just go and take a red X. And let's have a look around here. See if we can find something. Who? Oh. Um. Sorry, Codsworth. Not that comes with the territory. Do we get some more? No. Just these three. Well. I don't know what I expected out here. Don't know what I did expect. We cannot open this door. Hmm. Alright then. Let's go further south. Ish. Hmm. So that's the place. Yeah, that's the place. Get a frag mine, another frag mine, and a mutant hound. Okay, so we've got mutants over here. Ah, oh, there they are, slowly coming. Wait, is that a... Yeah, that's a suicider. It's a dead suicider, good. Let the dogs come. Let the dogs come. Ah, oh, crap. How can they see me? Well, where did you come from, mate? Good. Mm, right, I forgot to take my... Right away. Right away. Ah, crap. Damn it. Good. Um... There's one up there. Can see him. That's him. Butcher. Whoa. Wait a second. Mr. Butcher is quite strong. You take care of the hound, don't you, Cotsworth? Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. There's another one also? Man. Huh. And the last one, good. Okay, where's the the guy with the assault rifle? Can see you. There you are. Good. And where's the dog? That's not the dog. Must be somewhere. A mutant hound. Running around and trying to kill me. There you are. Bitch. Oh yeah. I like this spray and pay. Finally learned the name. <laughs> and last episode I was... Oh crap. I always said the wrong name. That's fine. Let's go over there. Let's go real close. Good. Uh -huh. Fine. Got a new mini nuke. And we cleared this place out. So the police had also verity birds? Or what? No, no, that's the. What is it? Post. No, wait, wait. Coast Guard, not the Post Guard. Really? So the Coast Guard had appeared all the way in here, so they would always have to drive through all the way here to get to the real coast. 
I mean, yeah, of course they had some river over here, but, oh well. Well, okay, I guess it's the river outpost. Hmm. Fine. I don't really know the jurisdictions of the damn coast guard, so... I don't live near any coast, so I have no idea what they do, except for guarding the coast. Now, I was thinking um, about putting a automatic powerful receiver on my shotgun because, you know, just think about it, yeah, the power goes down and also the fire rate, really? Hmm, I would have to check and see. But only if I have gun nut number four, uh, rank four. That's um. But it would be nice to have an automatic receiver. You know, just press the button and just shoot loads of shotgun shrapnels into the enemies. That would be nice. You know, really, really nice. So I guess at first I was thinking, well, automatic weapons are not that useful. Is that a trap or something? It was. Hm. Weird. First I was thinking automatic weapons are not that useful because, well, you just waste bullets because they're not that strong per shot. But, yeah. Oh, sir, do be careful. I wouldn't want either of us to encounter what may have caused this mess. Um, yeah, but I think more and more that they're quite useful, or they can be quite useful, automatic weapons. So I might even go further with this perk over here, with the commander perk. It's it's really interesting how my perspective about this game and what's useful and not changes over time. My perspective about this game, well, didn't really change. I th still think that it's awesome and the main reason people just don't like it yes. at what the, what the hell is shooting at me oh okay <laughs> good why not the main reason why PD people were hating this game at the f at first is well there was so much hype about this game and people were just expecting too much period Come on. Cannot. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't even see that grenade bouquet. Bouquet. Bucket. <laughs> what the hell are you doing over here? Man. Those super mutants are, are a real messy bunch. Okay, what's the Trinity radio tower? Hmm, wrong button. Damn it, that's the one. Or two. Mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Town. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. Sending this to repeat. Ah oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help or Mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name oh. is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. Well, don't I already have a job at the Trinity Tower? I think so. Um, so I'm coming at some point, Rex Goodman. Or whatever your name is. Mm. And... Open Sesame. See, also, I think that the, what is the perk? The hacker perk is a lot more useful than the locksmith perk because, well, you can open safes and all with the locksmith perk. Generally, what's in the safes are just random items that are nice to have or good to sell, but not really, like, special or something. If there are some special rooms or whatever hiding somewhere, that's where you can actually generally either can also open with the hacker perk or can only open with the hacker perk because this door says 
can only be opened with a terminal, so I guess the hacker perk is generally more useful than the locksmith perk. Because this one is mainly just for money again. And well, curiosity. That's the main reason I, I picked up this perk because if I know there is a door or or or, or safe that I can't open, I want to know what's inside. You know? Message to Claire Pazinski. <laughs> Time to start thinking about a vacation. How does six weeks in Ireland sound to you? Dublin, Galway Bay, Waterford. Maybe a week in that little bed and breakfast and kill Kenny. And don't worry, we don't have to take my cousin Stephen with us. Let him get out of the country on his own. I told him to threaten the cop. Not blast him in the face with a shotgun. He can rot in that abandoned fishery down in Union Wharf for all I care. Love you. Oh, dear Eddie Winter, signing off. Dear Eddie Winter, God. needed to have a vacation. And with his l love of his life, yes. And now we just go and 20 years later, go and find and try to kill him. Because he's a little bastard. And, um, well, I don't really care about it, but, um, Mr. Nick Valentine does, and, um, so he's going to die. For crimes committed, nobody cares about anymore, because they're 200 years old. Mm, see, Captain's had random crap, and that's it. Okay, we can go downstairs. One more time. Thank you. What do we have here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why not? Hello there, Mr. Magazine. Now come on. You've gotta be kidding me. Good. Astoundingly awesome yes. tales. The Starlet Sniper. Good. Five damage with I'm scoped weapons, which is good. So is this... That's not a scope, right? The red dot. That's too bad, actually. Because, um... I would also have plus five damage on this weapon here. Ah, oh, well. What do we have here? Hello there. See, this door can only be opened with the terminal. So, yeah. While the other door over there can only be opened with the... Um... Locksmith perk. Right. Uh, I guess they're both pretty much essential if you care about stuff like, um... The magazines and stuff. I'm through. Good. Open sesame. Please. So what do we got here? Some more rounds, which is good. Weapons and rounds, some drugs. More drugs. Bottle caps. See, I still found plenty of bottle caps around here, which is kind of interesting. Um, good. Rounds, rounds, rounds. And some more. Saves. That's it. Hmm. Good. Why not? And an expert lock. So it's on the other side, I guess. Here it is. Good. Got it. Um. Yeah. Well, we can sell that stuff again. See, this is what I meant that. Um, Generally, it's not that useful, the locksmith perk, because all we got is just some items that we can sell, not really, well, let's say essential parts. So I would like to go over to that tower over there. Oh, man. Right, I'm overcumbered. Godsworth, sorry about that. Hey. I need to trade with you. you all right. Oh, again? How many are there? Huh. 
Oh crap. Okay, those are synths, so synths are not impossible to kill. I, I thought that's against some sort of a, a Sultron. Where is he now? Where are you? Mr. There he is. Crap. Hmm. Get over here. Good. Come on. You're not going too big. Oh man. I need cover. That was bad. Good. One is dead, I think. Yep, one is dead. The other one will come soon. Good, and then we have the third one. There he is. Where are you? Good. Took a while. I was surprised by those guys. Even though I knew they were there. What's that? Hmm. Well, the problem is with this um, bridge over here is that it's kind of hard for me, I guess, to get over there. Hello, Teddy. Hmm. Take this and that. Yep, I can't go it over here. From here. Hmm. Well, while we're at it, let's have a look at this place. Let's have a look at this place. Got a fragment over there. Anything else? Ecratus Marina. Hmm. Well, seems kind of quiet to me. Another frag mine. Should take care of that. So what? Nobody around here? Hello? Nobody around here. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess I will check this place out. Ah. Get out of here. I'll check this place out. About empty tourist attractions that can be so haunting. Now look around this place, see what this has to offer. Sir, this silence is a bit unsettling, wouldn't you say? Yes, I know. And then I'm gonna see you in the next episode when we're gonna continue for our hunt for the Eddie Winter tapes. Hello there. Okay. We have Phyllis Daly to talk to. Hope you liked this episode. If you did, press the like button down below and hope to see you next episode. Where we're gonna talk to Syphilis daily. Hope to see you then. Bye.